Pen and wire out of Marlborough, it's, it's becoming a big thing. It's, it's taken us a while to work out where to grow it and how to grow it, and we've learnt a lot over the last sort of 15, 20 years. We're now in a position where actually the future for Pinot and Marlborough is really exciting. 20 years ago, we planted a little bit of Pinot next door to our Sauvignon and probably you know, grew it a little bit like Sauvignon and ended up with some fairly disappointing results in reality. Since then we've worked out that where you grow Pinot and Marlborough you want to be on the clay based soils so we've moved to the southern valleys, moved off the valley floor up onto the hillsides, um, you know the north facing slopes of the southern valleys and, um, and really chasing that clay soil type and, and all of a sudden we're producing a you know, completely different style of Pinot. And, and we've also now got enough vine age that it's starting to make a difference too so we've got the right clones on the right sites enough vine age to make a difference and, and the wines are really going from strength to strength.